Hey, welcome to this VHF UHF channel. And today I just want to talk about a very simple uh, task that you can actually do in HDSDR, and it's using the squelch. And even though it is written, it's not necessarily super, um, you know, easy. Uh, uh, and I mean by that, it's not everybody that's going to see, oh, okay, well, that's where I do it. Squelch is, of course, very useful and almost impossible to avoid when you're listening to above 30 megahertz on your SDR receiver. Problem is, you'll hear all the ash. And that's something you want to avoid. When there's no signal, you don't want to hear that. Well, the squelch in HDSDR is on the S meter on the left side. As you see, it says S units squelch. If I click, for example, five in the scale, notice that there's a red line that now appears up to five. Well, that is the squelch. So to get squelch, simple. You have to put the squelch higher than the signal received. So in this case, the signal received is white noise because there's no signal right now on this frequency. But this is a frequency for the local provincial police. So what I want to do is put the squelch higher than the S units when it's just static, but not too high, so not to block the signal that I'm receiving. So here I'll choose just the beginning of S9 as the signal is at S8 in the noise. So basically, I just click there. Now the line goes to S9 and you see that the line for static is below S9 so I don't hear the static anymore. And that means that now when a communication is going to happen on that frequency, I'll hear the communications because it's higher than where I, uh, than the, the squelch setting. But I won't hear the static in between because the static is lower than the squelch setting. So that's pretty much how you'll deal with that in your um, HD HDR software. So squelch is on the left side uh, and notice that when you squelch it says squelched. So the reason for squelch for those that still under understand exactly what a squelch is it's simple. Um, we use squelch in the communications above 30 megahertz because it's random. Communications above 30 megahertz are not always there they are intermittent so in order to say stay on the frequency and not be fatigued by the noise well of course put squelch so in between communications everything's quiet another reason also is for the scanning purpose a scanner cannot go through the frequencies if the squelch is not set because if you don't set squelch well, the scanner will think there's a signal and will not scan. It's just going to stay there. So by using squelch, it actually makes the scanner understand when there's a signal and when there's not. So I hope this was useful for any HD SDR users and the RTL dongles and any type of, uh, you know, RTL or SDR software defined radio that you might be using for your 30 megahertz and above listening. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. And give us thumbs up if you like the videos. If you're using SDR Sharp, look at the other video I will post. There is also a squelch on SDR Sharp, and I'll show you how to set it if that's the software you're using. Thanks for watching, and hope you enjoy these videos.